Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 16th December 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold, these two commodities using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, when swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study the market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and also technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry's rotation. We will study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and look for potential trades in the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. After declining sharply in the weekly chart for two successive weeks, the candle color has turned neutral yellow. This week ended with a very bearish shape candle. In the daily chart, price is moving in a sideways range. There is no swing trade opportunity in oil right now. Gold ETF GLD using at a glance template. In the weekly, the candle color is neutral yellow. In the daily chart, price came to the upper boundary level and pulled back from there. In the last weekly market roundup, I had noticed that though gold broke out of all the memory resistance lines that were there in the chart, it was at the upper boundary level and it was also at the declining white direction line. Looking at that, I had suggested that it was not the right time to buy gold. That was appropriate analysis because gold pulled down from there. It is still having higher high and higher low. If gold starts to go up from here, gives us a cyan color candle in the daily chart that may point to a trend following go with flow long trade opportunity. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ and NYSE composite indices using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline and up down volume. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that both NASDAQ and NYSE were moving in wide sideways ranges. That is true this week also. Though both NASDAQ and NYC dropped this week, 
both of them are continuing to remain inside the range. Though the indices are range bound, if we look at the internals, we can see new high low, advanced decline, up down volume for both NASDAQ and NYAC are dropping. That shows that under the hood, the market is weak. Though the indices are holding inside their ranges, the internals are weak, suggesting that many low price stocks are dropping fast. This is not the time to start taking new long trades. You may look for either short opportunities or wait for the market to reverse before taking any long trade. Let's see if we have the same conclusion from the market ETFs analysis. S&P 500 ETF SPY one week ago, SPY had a very sharp reversal week. This week, price fell further. It was inside a triangle pattern and it is continuing to remain inside the triangle pattern in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, SPY is inside very wide triangle pattern, moving in a sideways range. Price is near the lower end of the sideways range. This is not the time to take new short trades, neither is it time to start taking long trades. We may wait to see where SPY is going before taking the next swing trade. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. This week price dropped little bit. We know that from the red color of the weekly activity candle. The candle color itself is neutral that is yellow, the shape is bearish. In the daily chart, price is inside the triangle pattern near the lower end of the triangle pattern. Not a time to take new shots, neither is it time to take any long trade. Dow Jones Industrial ETF, DIA. This week, price dropped. The candle color is magenta, though the shape is mixed because it has a lower tail as well. Price closed right at the memory support in the weekly chart. In the daily chart also, price stopped right at the memory support. Again, not a time to take new shots and there is no signal to take any long trade either. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This is the weakest of the four ETFs, the weekly candle shape and color are clearly bearish. Relative performance is showing that it is underperforming the market. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that this was the only ETF that broke below support lines and that if market continued to go down, IWM would give us the easiest short opportunities. That analysis came to be true. IWM fell more than other ETFs and it is continuing below all the support levels. There is no support line here. If the market continues to go down, you will continue to have easier short opportunities in IWM than in the other ETFs. And therefore, you may be careful about any small cap stocks that you are holding. If we combine the outcome of the market breadth analysis, with the result of the market ETF analysis. We see that market is in a sideways range, wide sideways range, and it is near the lower end of the range. That is not the right time to start taking new short trades. And because the market is in overall downtrend, the internals are very weak, it is not the time to take long trades also. That is the conclusion that we arrive at from market level analysis. However, market is very broad. When we drill down into the sector level and further into industry level, stocks, fundamentals and technicals by aligning forces from all the levels, industry level, fundamentals and technicals, you can always find low risk, high probability trading opportunities.
four week sector performance analysis we are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of the current week green bar represents performance of one week prior to the red bar and blue bar represents performance of two weeks prior to the green bar together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance this week 10 of the 11 sectors decline showing a bearish picture at the sector level even though the market indices are range bound the ETFs are also range bound the bearishness at the sector and industry level as well as the market breadth level are enough reasons to wait before buying new stocks energy continues to be the worst performing sector last week i mentioned that opec cuts had a mild effect on oil and energy stocks at that time energy sector was the worst performer and this week also it is the worst performer it is better to wait before buying stocks in this sector utilities is the only gaining sector this week it has been the best performer for several weeks if you are holding long positions you may continue to do the same as the sector is now strong for a while the best buying opportunities might have passed you could catch the stocks early using real-time sector industry heat map of QH this is the sector heat map and scorecard from QH here we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 days 5 days etc cyan color represents strength magenta represents weakness you can see the best performing sectors of the week are utilities and consumer staples over 5 days they are the best performers and the weakest sectors are financials and energy therefore if you are looking for buying opportunities you would look for them in utilities and consumer staples if you are looking for shorting opportunities you will probably look for them in financials in energy at the same time if you look to the right you see that energy is weak now for a long time it is having score one or maximum two for all the review periods because energy has been weak for a while the best shorting opportunities might have already passed the same is true in the long side for utilities it has been strong for a while so the best buying opportunities might have passed if you used Q edge regularly you could catch the exact transition points upward for utilities and downward for energy and start buying or shorting stocks respectively just as they were starting to reverse the sector heat map and scorecard helps you decide the broad trend in the market to make more accurate trading decisions you may look into the industry level and align your trades with the industry's strength or weakness best performing industries these are 10 of the best performing industries of this week we are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores some of the industries are strong from one week earlier itself the 10 days and 5 days scores are very close to each other water utilities is strong this is in the utility sector in this industry CWT has medium valuation and it has improving yearly earnings growth over three years as well as improving earnings growth over past three quarters. This stock gave a trend following go with flow long trade setup on the daily chart on 6th or maybe 7th December. I have to check the date. It has hit the initial profit target by this Friday. This was an example where you could use Q systems to align the industry strength, the strength of water utilities, fundamental strength of the stock in terms of improving earnings growth, 
and then a technical trade setup that go with flow trend following long trade setup to align all the forces in favor of the trade and end up with a very profitable trade. As it has hit initial profit target, you would book partial position profit with discipline. However, all the forces are bullish. Industry is strong, fundamentals are good, and technicals are strong. Therefore, you would not probably close the entire position. You would continue to hold partial position trying to let profit run. Industry scorecard and heat map using QH, it shows the industry rotation happening in real time. The best performing industries of the week are shown by cyan color under 5 days column. Water utilities is one of the strongest industries of this week and it had been strong for quite a while. Let's drill down into its stocks. From the stock fundamental scorecard, you can see CWT valuation is in the middle. The valuation column is in yellow color. If you look at the earnings growth columns, you can see from 3 year to 2 year to 1 year, earnings is steadily improving from 5.6% to 22% to 38.6%. If you look at the quarterly earnings growth columns, you see that for the last three successive quarters, year over year, earnings growth is also improving from minus 350 percentage to minus 30 percent to now positive 2.9 percent. So we have a stock here where earnings is improving. The stock is in a strong industry. Under such a situation, you would look for a buying opportunity on technical charts. On Q charts, using the at a glance template for CWT, we got that opportunity on this day. The stock was already in an uptrend with higher highs and higher lows, and then we had a cyan color candle after a pullback. That was the optimal long entry opportunity for swing trading. You could take the long at this point, putting stop just below recent low. And by this Friday, it has covered much more than the risk distance. You would book partial profit with discipline and continue to hold partial position, trying to let profit run. Worst performing industries of this week you are going to look for short opportunities in these industries. Oil and gas drilling is the worst performer over 5 days and also the worst performer over 10 days. In this week industry, you would look for shorting opportunities and RDC and ESP gave such opportunities. Both are overvalued. Both have negative earnings growth in recent quarters. If you look back, you will see both displayed the unique Q headwind reversal signal at the very top. The headwind signal was followed by easily identifiable trend following go with flow short setups on daily chart. You could take the short either using the bearish headwind signal or waiting for the first trend following short setup that is the go with flow short setup. Since the headwind reversal signal came up, ESP is down by more than 52%. RDC is down by more than 48%. This week, ESP dropped by another 20.3% and RDC fell by another 19.3%. This example shows that whatever be the market condition, there are profitable trading opportunities that you can confidently locate using 360 degrees analysis where you align the industry strength or weakness, weakness in this case for oil and gas drilling, fundamental weakness in this case for both RDC and ESP in terms of negative earnings growth and then easily identifiable shorting trade setups on the technical charts. In QH, the worst performing industries of this week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. Oil and gas drilling is the worst performer this week and it had been weak for quite a long time. 
let's look at the underlying stocks instantly from the scorecard you can see RDC and ESV both has very poor valuation they are overvalued that is apparent from the magenta color under the valuation column and if you look at the recent quarterly earnings growth well all of them are negative for all the three successive quarters therefore here you have two stocks both of them are overvalued both of them have negative earnings growth both of them belong to a weak industry you are going to look for shorting opportunities on technical charts this is ESV it displayed bearish headwind in both the weekly as well as the daily chart and then price dropped heavily from there you could start looking for shorting opportunities once the bearish headwinds came and on this magenta color candle the daily candle you had the first trend following short trade opportunity you could take the trade book partial profit with discipline once the lower boundary line was hit and continue to hold remaining position with trailing stop to let profit run as the stock is continuing to fall at the right edge there is no reason to book remaining position profit you may continue to hold that with trailing stock RDC the second stock in the weak industry it displayed the bearish headwind in the daily chart at the very top you could start looking for shorting opportunities from then and you had the first trend following go with flow short setup on this magenta color candle again you could take the short on that day book partial profit at the lower boundary and then continue to hold the remaining position trying to let profit run if you did that you will be holding the remaining position even now price is continuing to drop sharply there is no hurry to book remaining position profit you will continue to hold them trying to let profit run accelerating industries these are industries that may not be at the forefront but starting to gain momentum these are also industries where you will look for buying opportunities however this is not the best time to buy stocks in non-defensive industries you may be extra cautious before you do that you may create a list of stocks for your watch list but not buy them especially if they are in non-defensive industries don't buy them until the market is starting to turn upward diversified chemicals is one of the accelerating industries in this industry cc has optimal valuation positive earnings growth in recent years as well as recent quarters it displayed a bullish headwind signal in the daily chart you may keep an eye on the stock for a low risk buy point the buying opportunity buy setup is not there yet but you may keep an eye on that you may take such a trade only if the market is also turning bullish you can look at the accelerating industries in real time from QH by looking at the pace column the accelerating industries of the week are shown by cyan color under pace 5 days diversified chemicals was weak earlier magenta color now it is stronger the five day score is in cyan color and the pace column is showing that it is gaining momentum fast therefore you would like to drill down and see if you can find some fundamentally strong stock in this industry when you drill down you instantly locate cc this stock is optimally valued cyan color under valuation column and if you look at the yearly earnings growth as well as the last three quarterly earnings growth columns all of them are in bright green showing that it has significant earnings growth as well good value stock with earnings growth in an accelerating industry with good earnings quality robust earnings quality shown by cyan color again under earnings quality column and a short squeeze potential shown by cyan color under short squeeze column there are many positive factors for this stock and you would look for a buying opportunity on the technical charts 
this is CC using a glance template. The stock has a sharp drop in the weekly chart. That is normal because the industry was also weak. This week it has a reversal candle, not an engulfing candle, but a reversal candle. The reversal happened with heavy activity in the weekly chart. The weekly candle color is still yellow, neutral. In the daily, this week it displayed a bullish headwind signal. And since then price went up for three days. This was happening while the market was dropping. Therefore, CC was clearly outperforming the market. That is also shown from the relative performance line that is tilting upward. It has heavy activity for three successive days. Friday's activity was very high. However, Friday's candle closed just below the memory resistance line. Therefore, we didn't have any buy setup yet. You may wait for CC to see if it goes up, breaks out of the memory resistance and then probably pull down a little bit and go up again giving us a low risk trend following long trade opportunity. That would be the first trend following long opportunity that we will have. The industry is accelerating, fundamentals are strong, therefore you may keep this stock in your watch list and look for the next buying opportunity. Decelerating industries, these are starting to lose momentum and you would look for shorting opportunities here. Hypermarkets and Supercenter is one of the decelerating industries. In this industry, COST, Costco, is overvalued. It dropped heavily on Friday after earnings. Friday, it gave an easy gap short day trade opportunity using Q techniques and the fine-tuned chart template, intraday chart template. You could take it with more confidence as it had cleared the memory support at open, the memory support that was there in the daily chart that was cleared at open and price continued to go down from there, forcing long holders to quit one by one. Its peer stock, WMT Walmart, is also looking weak on Q charts. Walmart dropped after displaying bearish headwind again at the very top on 12th November. It gave a trend following go with flow short setup on 4th December and that has already hit profit target. Looking at the industry's weakness, the technical weakness and fundamental weakness, you could be ready to take shots in these stocks right at the time the opportunities showed up. In key wage, the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under page 5 days column. Hypermarkets and super centers is one of the decelerating industries. Looking to the right, you can see it was strong earlier. Scores were in cyan color. This week's score is in magenta and the deceleration is shown by magenta color under base column. If we drill down, instantly from the color coding, we know Costco is overvalued. Its valuation is in magenta color. This week, Costco went down by almost 8%. Walmart, its PR stock, is medium valued, has slowing earnings growth. So you could start looking for shorting opportunity in Walmart as well. Walmart using a glance template. It displayed the bearish headwind at the very top in both weekly and daily charts and price dropped heavily from there. It also gave a trend following short opportunity on this magenta color candle. You could take it using real time sonar, being able to enter the shot somewhere in the middle of the candle and book partial profit at the lower boundary. From there, price is continuing to drop Therefore, you may continue to hold partial position with trailing stop to let profit run. Costco, it had a very strong up move while the industry was also strong and then it was moving sideways in the weekly chart. This week price broke out of the sideways range. 
In the daily, it was moving inside triangle pattern bound by resistance memory at the top, support memory at the bottom. On Friday, price opened below the memory support lines and then continued to go down from there. That gave us very easy gap short day trade opportunity. You could take it with minimal risk using Q fine tune chart. This is Costco using fine tune chart 5 minute interval. On Friday, price opened with a gap down, much below previous day's low. Soon after that, the early range high and early range low lines formed and price continued to go below early range low. You could take a shot right at that point, put stop just above day's high, that is the early range high, that was never approached. Price went down and this pause line formed. By that time, you had more than risk distance covered. You could book partial profit and the remaining profit could be booked at the end of the day. If you took it as a day trade, you would book full position at the end of the day. In this case, you could easily take the short trade using the gap short day trade entry technique using the fine tune chart and you would take it with more confidence because at open price had broken below the memory support in the daily chart. Those were the regular topics of the weekly market roundup. I'll analyze more stocks using live queue systems using the 360 degrees analysis. In the Monday morning meet, you can register for that session by going to the education live class page. Monday morning meet is open to the public. Before ending the session, let me summarize. Market breadth and market ETF analysis shows that the market is in a sideways range, same as it was one week ago. It is at the lower end of the sideways range, same as it was one week ago. What has changed from the last week? Price has dropped a little bit, but more importantly, the internals have become significantly weaker. That is seen all across the board, both for NASDAQ and NYSE, and the weakness is seen in new high low advanced decline as well as up down volume. This is not a time to take new long trades. If you are considering taking long positions, you may create a watch list, but wait for the market to show signs of recovery before taking such trades. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the Monday morning meetup. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.